Hello, welcome to the Fortress Infinity Decking Preferred Builder Program. For the next 45 minutes or so, we're going to cover several different things. Uh, we're going to cover Fortress Building Progress, our Preferred Builder Program, our Differentiators, our Infinity Products, our Hawk Products, our Installation Best Practices. We're going to go over resources and why you should be using and selling Fortress Decking. Fortress Deck is one of the newer members of Fortress Building Products. Uh, Fortress Building Products is a privately held family of innovative outdoor living products. Fortress Building Products is comprised of Fortress Railing, Fortress Fence, Osco, Fortress Deck, and Fortress Frame. Are, are, those are all the brands that are underneath Fortress Building Products. Uh, we're based out of Dallas with product distribution throughout North America. The story of Infinity Decking starts in South Africa. It was born out of necessity because they didn't uh, they needed a product that could perform in those harsh environments located at 7000 feet above sea level with a UV index of 9. Uh, there were an average of 9 hours of sunlight a day with drastic temperature and climate swings. Everlast had been manufacturing and distributing the, these composite deck boards around the world. Yeah, with 0% failures in their fully capped deck boards and less than 1% on generation of one product. These are some of the items that you will receive after you become a preferred builder. Some of the benefits are we will begin covering your labor for five years. Uh, when you are, after you've gone through this and signed up as a preferred builder, you'll be listed as a preferred builder on our website locator. So when people want to find a builder in their area, they'll enter the zip code with a certain radius. And if you fall within that zip code, you'll come up as a builder. Uh, you'll get to uh, marketing tools such as this uh, blue bag that will uh, have samples that you can take from job to job to show them all the different items that we carry. We can also give you samples and literature. You'll also have priority lead referral as well. These are all the differentiators we're going to talk about. Uh, the, the, the texture of the board, the cap, the color, the core, the warranty, stair tread, the color matching modern rail, and the color, color matching post sleeves. There are eight main differentiators. First, let's talk about texture. The texture on our boards is dual surfaced. <clears throat> One side is exotic that has a subtle grain pattern that replicates tropical hardwoods like Ipe and tiger wood. The other side is distressed, aimed at bringing the popular look of indoor hardwood floors from the inside to the outside. With the cap, we cap all four sides of our product using a proprietary blend borrowing technology from tire manufacturers that allows us to deliver a more rubber-like texture. Doing this provides a more natural looking matte finish instead of a smooth golf ball look and feel. This makes it more slip resistant when it's wet. Of course, we also include UV and antimicrobial inhibitors for fade resistance, in addition to being scratch, stain, and mold resistant. We have blended colors. <clears throat> They're layered like an oil painting. Without getting too technical, each color that is used in each board has a different weight. This gives color depth. That means instead of having a pitcher of wood like a laminate, the colors are truly blended. That gives dimension and maximizes light reflection and realism. Others out there use color pellets during the extrusion process. I'm sure that you've probably seen lines or streaks on our competitors' boards. This is a result of color pellets. Our colors are truly blended. So like natural wood, each board is unique. No two boards will ever look alike. The fourth and one of the biggest difference between us and others is our core. Our core is made of bamboo and recycled plastics. We are the only composite deck manufacturer that uses bamboo and not wood. There were many reasons that we chose to go with bamboo. It is more environmentally sustainable than many other construction materials in the world. It's self-regenerating and can grow as much as three feet a day. 
Bamboo is stronger than wood, brick, or even concrete. It's less water soluble than wood, meaning it absorbs less water, which, mean, which means it resists mold and mildew uh, more than wood does. In addition to the bamboo, we use recycled plastics. The process used to extrude the board is different from our competitors. If you've ever been to one of our competitors' plants, you'll, they will usually have 10 to 20 extruders that are pumping out boards as fast as they can. We have 211 extruders. We have so many because we process the materials at a slow pace. In fact, it looks so slow you would swear that nothing was even happening. Using this slow process allows us to control the pressure along with the heating and the cooling. This gives us a product with more mass and it gives us a straight product. So instead of racing to see who can push out the most, the fastest, we go slowly and smoothly. So not only are our products stronger and more resistant to moisture, we are actually more green than wood. For customers who are environmentally conscious, our product eliminates the need for trees to be cut down or new plastics to be made. This won't be a deciding factor from everyone, but being green is becoming more common. When you compare our products to a solid PVC, well, one is good for the environment and one is not. A fifth differentiator between us and everyone else is our warranty. Yes, we have the standard 25-year residential and 10-year commercial warranty. But we have added on top of that, as I mentioned before, a five-year labor coverage on decks that have been installed by Fortress Deck Preferred Builders. I will admit that this is easy for us to do for the sole reason that this product has been installed all around the world for the last five years and there have been zero claims. This not only gives you peace of mind knowing that you're installing a product that won't fail, but gives your customers peace of mind as well. We also allow the warranty to be transferred one time within the first five years from the beginning of the original purchase date. Let's talk about the product. On to the colors. We tried to make this simple. We have four main colors and three accent colors. Our main colors are Spanish Saffron, Kona Sunset, Tiger Cove, and Cape Town Gray. Espresso Roast, Sahara Sand, and Sapphire Silver are our accents. We just have one line with those colors. We are also working on some other product lines that are soon to come out. We don't believe in having a lower level line that is less quality. We just like to have one superior product. Let's start with the decking. We have grooved boards for use with hidden fasteners. These are offered in four main colors. They come in 12, 16, and 20 foot lengths. We also have square boards. These come in all seven colors, and they come in 20-foot lengths. Every deck board, grooved and square, is dual-surfaced, with the exotic on one side and the distressed on the other side. One of my favorites product, product is our uh, fascia and riser. The fascia and riser are essentially the same, with the only difference being the height. The fascia is 11 and 3 quarter inch tall, and the riser is 7 and a quarter inch tall. Where our fascia and risers are completely different from other composites is the texture. Instead of the exotic and distressed texture, we use a brush texture. When the due diligence was done back in 2016, everybody loved the brush texture. Unfortunately, it doesn't manage foot traffic very well, so they decided to use it on the fascia, and I'm glad they did. As you can see, they are available in all seven colors and come in 12-foot lengths. As I mentioned before, we have eight key differentiators, and one, uh, this one here is a big one, the stair tread. This is a big board. Uh, this image doesn't do it justice. The stair tread uh, is the only composite stair tread on the market. It's 12, inch, 12 and 7 8 inch wide by 1 and 8 inch tall. Using this enables you to use one board instead of two boards for steps, which really gives the deck a more refined look. The stair tread comes bull-nosed and is also dual-surfaced, exotic, and distressed to match the decking. The reason that we're able to offer this board and others can't is because of the slow extrusion process that I mentioned before. This stair tread alone sets us and you apart from everybody else. Number seven is our modern rail. It's a one and a half by three and a half, so basically it's a standard two by four. 
This is a product that no, no other competitor offers, and it's really nice to be able to match your handrail with your deck boards. And it has the same cap and colors as we mentioned before. Our post sleeve, it's five inches by five inches and made to be used with four by four lumber. For our rail and post sleeve, we use the same cap and color technology that we do with our decking and stair tread. But the texture on these are more of a rough matte finish. We are the only composite deck manufacturer that has a rail and post sleeve with matching variegated colors. It's not just a single solid color with a golf ball sheen. We have uh, our Hulk fasteners. While most composite deck fasteners will work with the Infinity product, our Hulk hidden clips are the only clips that are designed for top-down installation. Because they are installed vertically, you have the ability to remove a single board without the need to pull everything else up. Our screws are made of stainless steel and come in two options, one for installations on wood framing and one for steel framing. That's right, steel framing. This is the only hidden clip that can be used on steel framing. Today, the Hulk line has uh, different products. Technical information, let's talk about that. I know that you all know how to install decks. That's not why we're here, but I do have to go over some technical information that will make you aware of some of our differences. Let's start with joist spacing and ventilation. We recommend 16 inch on center for 90 degree installations and 12 inch on center for 45 degree, unless building code calls for less. You're probably thinking that's the same spacing everyone else uses. If our product is stronger and more dense, why isn't the spacing wider? It's easy, you will feel the difference when you walk on the deck. It will feel more rigid and better under your foot than the rest. We only require a one and a half inch gap beneath the deck for ventilation. All of this, of course, is in our installation manual, which is online at uh, fortressdeck.com. As plastic expands and contracts more than wood, you will need to account for this during the design and installation for butt joints, boards against fixed objects, and temperature at the time of install. The boards can expand up to one quarter of an inch on each side of a 20-foot board with a 50-degree temperature swing. When installing square boards, or for the first and last board when installing groove boards, we recommend one and a quarter inch from the edge and one and a half inch from the end of the board. For hidden clip installations, we recommend using our Hulk fasteners, but you can use others such as TCG's Tiger Claw system. You will need to use a starter clip, or as noted on the previous slide, surface mount the first and last boards. For butt joints, always plan for a double joist and use two clips. Do not use one clip for two boards. Also, if you choose to use different fasteners, I have to add that we do not support the use of camo or hid fast or other fasteners that shoot into the edge of the board. Let's go... Uh, all of this information, by the way, is on our technical guide, installation guide, which is on our website, fortressdeck.com. For the fascia and riser, we recommend a ventilation gap of one and a half inches between the board and the ground. We also recommend installing the fascia underneath the deck board, allowing the deck board to overhang the fascia up to one inch. Screws should be one and a half inch from the edge. Vertically, they should be four and a half inches apart. Horizontally, they should be 12 inches apart for the 8-inch riser and 16 inches apart for the 12-inch fascia. I know I don't need to tell you this, but cut continuous joints at an angle, and the same with the corners. And fascia and riser should be fastened to the frame, not to the decking. Here's some best practices like that we like to go over. Uh, leave one and a quarter inch gap between double joists to allow debris to fall through. Drive fasteners perpendicular to deck surface. Again, we recommend pre-drilling using bits slightly bigger than the screws. Use hidden clips or screws at every joist. Ensure the deck is sloping in the correct direction 
for proper drainage. Most importantly, familiarize yourself with the cleaning and care guide and insist that your client does well. The cleaning and care guide is also on our website, fortressdeck.com. Do's and don'ts. Uh, don't, used, don't use cracked boards. Don't use flat bugle or trim head screws as this will likely result in mushrooming. mushrooming. Don't screw less than one and a quarter inch from the side of the board and one and a half inch from the end. Don't use a single clip at butt joints. Don't install railing posts directly to deck boards. Don't seal off the deck. Allow for proper ventilation. For dues, do use sharp blades, and we recommend using a 60 to 80 tooth blade for 10 inch blades. Install screws perpendicular. Going in at an angle will cause mushrooming. And when you transport the materials, ensure that they are flat and not hanging over the cab or the tailgate. Uh, we've talked about the information on our website. I highly recommend you familiarize yourself with it. I've noted a few pages, such as the resources link uh, in, at, at our product in our product catalog. Uh, when you go to our site, you'll see where it says resources. And there you'll see product catalog, installation guide, maintenance and care guide. Also, the Fortress Deck locator is on our website. This is where we talked about where you can look and find uh, where to uh, buy uh, nearest you and also uh, the, the closest builders to you. <clears throat> We're almost done, but first we want to go over some of this. Uh, why should you install the Infinity Fortress Deck? What's the benefit for your customers and for you? Infinity is the number one decking material in Europe and South Africa. This is not a brand new product. Infinity decking has been installed in over 50 countries over the last 10 years with zero claims. From day one, its sole purpose was designed to, to, to do, be designed to withstand the South African environment. The texture, it has the exotic hardwood on one side with the crane pattern of Ipe and tiger wood, uh, distressed on the other side, bringing the look of in, indoor wood floors to the outdoors. It has true color variegation that provides a look of natural wood. As you walk around one of our decks, the visual changes. It's really cool. All four sides are protected with a natural flat, slip-resistant finish. And of course, they are ultra-low maintenance. The bamboo uh, in our core is just naturally more resistant to moisture than, any, than anything else that uh, our comp competitors use. It's also stronger and environmentally friendly. We have the five-year labor coverage on top of our 25-year residential 10-year commercial on materials. We're fade, scratch, stain, rot, warp, and crack resistant. We have our Hulk fasteners, hidden fasteners that make it easy to remove just one board if needed. We have our stair tread, our unusually large board that others cannot offer that makes stairs look so much better and refined. We have a fascia and riser with that beautiful texture. And we have our post sleeve and modern rail which become matched in variegated colors, which makes it nice for planning. I want to thank you so much for uh, taking the webinar. Uh, we have um, some quiz questions that you will also find. Um, um, we thank you for attending and hope that uh, you, you become a, a one of our preferred builders soon. <laughs>